I didn't actually know that the council offered stuff like this. Obviously the council were heavily involved in that. What's the first thing they do? They call their local council. The closer you are, the more we care. As its name suggests, Port Enfield grew out of amalgamation in 1996. With 116,000 residents, it's now one of the state's largest councils, stretching from the River Torrens to Outer Harbour. It has a busy port, large industrial and residential areas, and houses much of our state's history. Our modern world is dominated by signs, and down Port Adelaide Way, if you need a sign produced, Barry Charity is your man. But there's a bit more to this bloke than street names and stop signs. My name's Barry Charity and I'm a sign writer and a store person for the Port Adelaide Enfield Council. I got involved with the gardening and my first job was uh, actually Mother's Day at the Cheltenham Cemetery. About a week later they found out that I was a painter by trade so they needed a painter over at the Tracy Street Depot in their sign shop and paint shop so I went over there and of course the rest is history. So yeah I love it because of the variation is so far and wide like uh, you might be doing stop signs or street names one day and the next day you might be doing banners or multi signs for roads or what have you. I had an accident in 1973 and uh, they basically wanted to take me leg off then but over a period of 30 years I had a lot of major operations and what have you. Finally come to a decision in 2002 that we take the leg off as far as the prosthetic and all that goes. I mean I took the bull by the horns and I mean it's a card you've been dealt so you've got to live with it and get on with it and uh, I'm very happy with everything that's happened. I mean I get around good. I'm happy with life as it is. I now play lawn bowls. I joined the Wombats Disability Group and that sort of has inspired me to go onwards and upwards. I mean, we got our nationals again in four weeks time and hopefully I can do what I done last year and come home with a couple of medals and hopefully both gold this time instead of gold and silver. So we'll wait and see. I found that the council was very, very good for me. Whatever I needed, they supplied. They supplied new workstations, but they supplied benches at heights and that, that I needed. They were very, very good. I can't praise them enough because they've done so much for me. If somebody said to me, if you went back over your lifetime and you'd change anything, I wouldn't change a thing because uh, there wouldn't be me, mate. So. For career opportunities with your local council, visit careersincouncil.sa.gov.au. Councils get close to the things that matter to you.